Today in part 10 of my F1 23 My Team Career Mode, we head to Italy for Monza, the Temple of Speed. It's the Italian Grand Prix. Last time out in Spa, we had an awful last lap, dropping to fifth at the flag from starting second on the final lap. Despite leading for the majority, let's hope we can make amends for it today. So here we are, about to start our final lap in Q3. Piastri will be starting P12 for the race he got knocked out in Q2. Other than that, no real big shocks as we head into the as we start our first lap here in Q3. The braking's been quite difficult as you're about to see. It's difficult for Monza, obviously such high speeds, but however, we will have a wet race which will make it even more difficult for us. It's a dry quality, we've used all our tyre sets and we're leaving the, just the wets for the race as qualifying is complete. Everyone else has crossed the flag as we've gone purple in the first sector, four tenths up on our previous time. Our first lap was pretty awful though, so let's not take too much from that, but I reckon it's about two seconds to pole position. I'm not 100% sure though. As we finish sector two onto the second DRS straight. DRS activated, reaching top speeds of around 215 miles per hour. As we now break for the Parabolica, for the Ascari, sorry, not Parabolica, for Ascari. And now we head towards Parabolica, go a bit wide, lose a bit of time, but we're still 1.1 seconds up as we come round the final couple corners. It'd be nice to have a DRS straight on there, but unfortunately we don't. As we head around the final corner, take it nicely, 1.2 seconds gain up to the line. Is it going to be pole position, P10, all the way up into, it's a 118.9 and that puts us up into P6. So not the best qualifying from us then, definitely could be better. But that means we have places to make up in the race, but it's wet though, which might make it a bit more difficult. And it's Carl Sainz on pole position for the Italian Grand Prix in the Tifo in front of the Tifosi in the Ferrari, Espanol on P3, P2, sorry, impressing in the Mercedes, very close to the Ferrari of Sainz, 0 .09, 0 0.09 seconds, and Max Verstappen lines up P3 as we head to the race. And as you can see, the strategy suggests that it will dry out, but a zero stop on the wet could be fast. I'm not sure if the game allows you to do zero stops. We will not be testing that out. And we will be going on the inters, hopefully towards the end of the race. But we'll find out because it is projected to get drier. And we're also going to go one lap down on fuel. Everyone else is on the wet tyres as expected. As it is soaking wet out on track. As we start the formation lap then, George Russell directly ahead of us. Fernando Alonso in his McLaren ahead of him. As we need to get heat into these tyres as quickly as possible. And there's Lando Norris behind us in the McLaren. And Yuki Tsunoda behind him. Ferrari in the R&D charts have dropped quite a bit by the way. They're about the fifth best team now as we go to five red lights. Four. The Italian Grand Prix in full wet conditions. It's lights out and away we go. It's not a good reaction from us. But we get away rather well in the second phase. Norris tries to come... And overtake us. We overtake Alonso as we head towards turn one. Uh, can we maybe go round the outside of George Russell? Norris thinks about it. We go very deep. So difficult going into neutral gear. But it's somehow worked. Ocon's dropped to B3 though. Could we be taking P3? Could the breaking late actually help? It has. And we are up into P3 in this Italian Grand Prix. What a start from us in our RTG sports car. As we look, so now have to see Carlos Sainz and Max Verstappen dueling ahead, but they're already one second up the road. We're gonna need to gain to them as quickly as possible and save fuel. Norris has followed us through and he's up into P4, so mega start for him as well. But lap one, we lead. Uh, we, we lead a train of cars, including Norris, Ocon who started on the front row, and we're up to P3 after one lap, but we will need to defend from Lando Norris if we want to keep this position. So here he comes, his first attempt, Norris going for the move on us, we're going to break later and just force him out wide, could that allow the door open for Esteban Ocon? No, I believe Norris has kept that position, but for how long will we keep our podium? Because 
I can't see us overtaking anyone with the signs of Verstappen already three seconds up the road. I'm struggling in these wet conditions trying to find the breaking points. It's so difficult to judge on this game, even with the uh, racing line, dynamic racing line on. If Verstappen is the fastest up of 135.4, we are four seconds slower than him on that opening lap. So not an ideal start in terms of looking forward for now because Lando Norris is look right on our tail as we start lap two and immediately we go extremely deep just like we did on lap one. Norris thinks about a move but we force him wide not having any of that and now it's lap five here. Russell has overtaken and Leclerc both overtaken Norris and Ocon who have dropped down the order a bit and our engineer however has told us that the weather is time for inters. No, none of the AI in front of us have pit, but we are going to pit. I believe Sergio Perez did pit as we come into the pits now. Very, very close on this pit limiter, must be said. But we're coming in for the inters. We're rolling the dice here and going for a huge undercut on those ahead on the inters. Lap, start going on to lap six only, so extremely early in the race. Maybe it'd be better to start on the inters though, but... You did not know. The weather seems to be drying out a lot more than expected. As we come out the pit lanes, are we ahead of Sergio Perez? Pierre Gasly's also followed us in. As we come out the pit lane, Sergio Perez is just behind us. About 0.8 seconds is the gap to Perez. He's right on our tail as we now have to catch up to those cars ahead as quickly as possible. We need to push in case any of the AI ahead of us, including signs of Verstappen pit, who are 10 seconds up ahead of us. So now we've pit onto the intermediates. It's very important that we use these tyres to the effect because the track's only going to get better for us and it's only going to get worse for the, the, in terms of the grip levels for those on the wet tyres. Felipe Djokovic, our old teammate, will be the first man we have to overtake on the full wets as we are now caught up to them on lap 8. It did not take us long whatsoever. We're now less than one second behind them. And he there's a huge train led by Joe Guan Yu, I believe. As Drogovic and Lawson, no, not Drogovic and Lawson, a couple cars up ahead are going for it. And it's not Joe who's leading. I'm not sure who's leading it, but we get a much better exit than our old teammate, Felipe Drogovic. Is he going to be... Nice and clean with us, he is. Drogovic still has some respect for us, despite us kicking him out the team. But, to be fair, maybe he thought he deserved it. And it's Alex Albon who leads the train, my apologies. But we are making moves left, right and centre on Liam Lawson. There you go, now Joe Guanyu gaining on him, gaining on him, gaining on him. The much better exit than everyone around us. As now, we overtake Joe Guanyu quite easily gives us a bit of a fight to be fair but you're about to see the difference we have to get off throttle and go round the outside of Kevin Magnuson what a move on the Dane on the Haas driver round the outside we have to lift off and still go around the outside and then now Logan Sargent is the next man to be overtaken we can break much later it's very easy can we now dance the car around the outside of Alex Albon yes we can they are the AI are struggling so much on these wet tyres I do not know why they haven't pit it's going to be so much quicker to pit onto the intermediates now as now stroll we see stroll and alonso up ahead and piastri our teammate currently up ahead eight seconds is the gap we're going to need to close that once again as quickly as possible as valtteri bottas is out the session he was st he's stuck i'm not sure why in the that gives out a virtual safety car oh that's not ideal as now we've gone green flag running again. I was afraid any of the AI pit, but they didn't. And we get another virtual safety car. And this time, I have no idea what that one's for. Because Bottas, is, Bottas's car is completely gone. So I do not know what that one's for. We have to slow down. Leclerc's pit under the virtual safety car. But we do clear him quite comfortably. Leclerc, right decision to pit, I would say. Hope Ferrari actually haven't messed up Leclerc's strategy this time. That's new. But now we're going green flag running once again here in Monza. And we have seven seconds. We, so we gained a second under that vir those couple virtual safety cars on Piastri and Stroll. But we need to gain much more. And you're about to find out. See, we a couple corners, a chicane, and we gain another second. Another, a further corner, and we gain so much time on the AI. That's another couple tenths shaved off Stroll's 
time as now Carlos Sainz has pit. Sainz has pit and he's come out 1.7 seconds ahead of us. But he's being held up by Lance Stroll. And that could allow us to go for the move on Carlos Sainz into this into the Ascari chicane. Can we make a mega dive bomb on Carlos Sainz? I thought about it. I did think about it, decided against it. But now Sainz is being held up massively by Stroll. And his tyres are probably still a bit cold. As now Sainz going for the move on Stroll. And I sense an opportunity here. Sainz goes for the outside. We're going to try and get around the inside and take both of them at the same time. It's a double overtake from us into Parabolica. And we get past them. And then we get past Piastri as well. He just moves out of the way very nicely as a teammate. But what a double overtake on both Piastri, on both Sainz, sorry, and um, Lance Stroll and our Fernando Alonso. Lance Stroll's former teammate in the, now in the McLaren is our next man. And we're easily under breaking into turn one. Make the move on the old bear Fernando Alonso retiring soon surely but not quite yet there's still life in Fernando Alonso but I still can't believe what a move by us on those two cars as now Esteban Ocon and Yuki Tsunoda are the two drivers up ahead three seconds and now on lap 12 only 0.9 as they are battling for it. Ocon wants that P3 uh, three badly. Sonoda, I don't know what he's doing up here. He has no right to be so high, but we get a much better exit than both of them. And we get overtake Ocon with ease. Sonoda puts a bit more puts up, up a bit more of a fight. But it's in the end men versus boys in terms of the tire difference and grip. And we are now up into P3 and Lando Norris two seconds up ahead and Max Verstappen then a further 18. So now we've caught up to Norris on the very next lap. And he holds us up a bit to be fair. Good defending but then it's a simple move down the inside. If you keep in the clean air the grip will come to you. Just like an F1 manager. Driving clean air always works on interchanging conditions. Now we've got 17 seconds to close up to Max Verstappen in only 6 laps. So we need to gain 3 seconds a lap. On Max Verstappen. But fortunately for us. We are in clean air. And the track still is drying. But is it drying too much? Because now lap 17. We have caught up to Max Verstappen. And we've set a purple lap time as well. So that shows the track is drying a lot. But there is a dry line forming now. So is the track now possible for dry tyres? Surely it wouldn't be worth it. To make a move. Onto the dries now. So late in the. Game, but Piastri, he think he's thinking about it. Surely he's going onto a soft tyres. I can't imagine him going onto Inters now. But as the DRS is now enabled, so that that confirms the track is now. It is now time for the in for the dry tyres. But Verstappen, he needed one more lap. It's too little, too late for him. As we go down the inside of the Red Bull of the World Champion and up into P. One for the first time in this race, a mega strategy it is, and we have w overtaken Max Verstappen, and we now lead the Italian Grand Prix. Great race from us, and surely now we can hold it and win. But Carlos Sainz in the Ferrari is not going to be very happy about that, and he is now within DRS range of us. So we are on the second to last lap. You can see how much the track dries compared to what it was at the start. It's Carlos Sainz going for the move. He's got DRS gaining. Sainz going for the move on the inside. Is he going to overtake us on the penultimate lap of the race? We're going to have to break later than him. And just leave, we leave him in space. Very respectful racing between us and the smooth operator. Will it be another smooth operation for him today though? Carlos Sainz. He's gone wide. He's gone wide. I don't know if you noticed, but Sainz went wide. That is so crucial. We deploy ERS down the straight. And Sainz is out of DRS range. That is so key. Because he now will not have DRS down this start-finish straight. Which will prevent him from gaining on us. Which could mean that we are in for the race win as we start the final lap of the race. Carlos Sainz now three tenths behind us. He's got this is his last opportunity to overtake us, gaining on, on gaining on us, gaining on us. No, he can't go for the move, and surely that's us secured for the race win here in Monza. Carlos Sainz, he will he get a bit of slipstream here? He will, and he's going to the outside, but surely he won't overtake us. No, he won't. We've got the best engine on the grid, and that is going to secure us as we come round the parabolica, as David Croft would say. It was, we won in Spa, he wins in Monza for Charles Leclerc, we didn't win in Spa, not so lucky for us, but we do win in Monza, and what a race that was 
for us. P1 from P6 on the grid. What a strategy call on lap 5. Pinning onto the Inters secured the win. Verstappen pit onto the drives later. Or I don't think the zero stop is possible. It's allowed on this game. But it's P1 for us. And another win in our championship winning season, I hope. So then it's P1 for us now after Monza. And that is almost the championship for us. Six races left. And it would take a miracle to stop us winning the championship from here. Esteban Ocon started P2, dropped down to 11th after his strategy blunder. And Oscar Piastri down to 17th. I believe he pinned to the Inters when we saw him pit, which was a joke. Ferrari, 36 points behind us in the standings and Russell was 108 points behind us as I said it would take a miracle to stop us winning from here as we head back to the factory and thank you guys so much for watching this part of my F1 23 my team career mode do make sure to like and subscribe for weekly F1 23 content and I'll see you guys next time for the Texas Grand Prix in the United States, the second US Grand Prix of the season and the first time that Texas appears on the calendar. See you guys then. Goodbye.